So to understand this vert painting info flow, let's go into Unity and take a look at a couple of examples here. So here we are in Unity. And as you can see on here, I've got um, three tea boxes. I think these are all teal boxes. It doesn't matter. Whatever meshes they are, it doesn't matter. And I've done vert painting on all of them. Now, however, this one right here is actually was vert painting in Blender. It was using like the random function in Blender. And these two were done inside of Unity. So let me first show you what happens if I were to take uh, this T box right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to delete it and re-import it. So I am here. I got it in my scene. I'm going to delete the FBX or the mesh, I'm sorry, from our scene. And you can see I have a hole there now. Actually, I'm going to control Z that because I forgot the number. So it's 429, path 429 mesh, T-box. So I delete that. Now, if I come over here to my quote unquote prop store and I do a search for 429, this, okay, is the imported FBX that I brought in from Blender. Okay, so here it is, this 429. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when I bring this back in. So just like before, I'm going to bring it back in. And what should happen here and what is going to happen is it's going to revert back because we have the original Blender vert painting in there, which is going to be solid red. It does not contain anything that we did in Unity. So I drop it on there, goes in there, and now that's the material that also came in from Blender. So how do we fix that? Well, we can right click, set default materials, and now you can see we get our MHS T default, but look what happens when I do show vertex painting. It's all red. It's because the information in this mesh in our prop store was the, what came from blender and in blender we didn't do any vert painting it's just the default vert painting so it gets overwritten that vert painting that we did in unity is gone okay it is absolutely gone so how can we resolve this or how can we fix it well we can do baking so let me go to this uh uh t box which you can tell that i did do some vertice painting um in unity OK, so the green, blue and black I did was from Unity. Now, if I come to this one and I do bake vertex the mesh, what's going to happen is this stream, OK, this vertex instant stream, which is in the game object that you see here. OK, this game object right here has this script in it. And this is the script that is storing our Unity vertex painting information. However, note that it is in our game object. It does not exist, okay, in our in our store, our prop store that is holding the FBX that came from Blender. Okay, so it's got two different vertex painting instances going on here. Now, if I highlight this and I do bake vertex painting to mesh, what it's going to do is it's going to take that Unity paint information that we have here and it's going to write it, okay, to the now this fbx that is in our store okay and now these two are the same well, let me prove that to you so let me go back to the one here i'm going to delete it and oh shoot i can't remember the number again <laughs> 433 so let's go over here let's delete this again 433 433 and there it is. This is the mesh. We don't want to do the blend. Remember, just doing our mesh. So let's take this back up, drag it back over, and drop it. And then let's, let's right click, set default materials. And now, if I do show vertex painting, it's still there. Okay, because essentially what we did is we wrote it into our prop store and then we brought it back in from our prop store, but we brought in something that was synchronized there. So, one last example here is this shape now this one you can tell i have not done any vertex painting on this because why i do not have a vertex painting um where is it here uh, so when i open up vertex painting on this shape what happens well i get the vertex painter instant stream added right here so that's how i know i've done some vertex painting on there when I open up this one, I don't have that stream. So all the vertex painting you see here came in from Blender. So in this case, I don't need to really sync, okay? And I can't because I do not have the vertex painter stream in here. 
This came from Blender. So this is number 371. So if I delete this one, and then I come back in here into 371 again, whoops, that's 372, I'm gonna do 371. And where is it? 371 uh, mesh, this guy right here. What should happen is I shouldn't lose those because those came from Blender. They're still associated with this mesh. So when I bring them back in here and drop, right click, set default materials, still there. Okay. Now, let's see what happens if I do this. Open Vertex Painter. Now I have my Vertex Stream. Let's go into my green channel. Let's do Show Vertex Data so you guys can really see this. And let me just do a big obnoxious green dot here. Okay. And let me close this out. So now we've got a bunch of divots here. Show vertex painting there. Hide vertex painting. Now, if I delete this, what do you think is going to happen? If I delete this object without baking vertex to mesh, I'm going to lose that green dot. And I'm going to, when I re-import this, it's just going to be the blender vertex painting that I have. All right. So let me go in here again highlight it delete that number was that 371 i'm going to come back over here to 371 there it is now if i'm really careful i wouldn't recommend doing this but i'm going to save some time i drop that back in here right click set default materials show vertex painting it's back from the original vertex painting that came from blender that green one that was captured via the stream is gone. And you can also see here as I do not have my vertex uh, stream over here because it is essentially reset to what came from Blender. So these concepts are really important because it's going to help you understand if you've done things in Unity and you're pulling things in from Blender that you're trying to replace or fix shapes, you're going to be able to understand when you're going to lose that vertex painting information.